I think really understanding the post-op recovery process after rhinoplasty is an essential part of the consultation when you come in. So I spend a great deal of time going over this. What this really involves is you'll have number one, a nasal cast on the outside of your nose that stays in place for a week. Depending on if you've had an open or closed rhinoplasty, that may include some sutures that need to be removed. And then additionally, if you really had a deviated septum or a lot of nasal septal work that needed to be performed, this may include some nasal splints as well. So I don't place any packing in the nose because I don't think that it really adds very much and in fact can make your recovery quite uncomfortable. Instead, I'll put a little nasal dressing on the bottom of your nose, call it a drip pad, and that kind of gets the you know, drainage the first 24 to 36 hours, and after that it pretty much subsides. You really don't have a lot of pain in your recovery. In fact, it's just more of a discomfort. And that's because there's a lot going on both inside and outside of the nose in terms of swelling, uh, both internally and externally. That will gradually subside over the first couple weeks. I certainly give you pain medication because I think that's essential uh, to helping you get through your recovery. The most important thing that I speak about to my patients is that your breathing is not adequate for that first week. And that's a combination of the swelling, crusting, and some drainage that really occurs throughout the nose. At your post-op visit on, on post-op day seven, uh, I take out your stitches. If you had an open rhinoplasty, the nasal cast comes off, and anything else that's associated with the nose. And at that point, you really start turning the corner, you start feeling better, your breathing starts improving, and you can kind of get a feel for what your result is going to look like, as you're not anywhere close to a final result at this point. Patients will frequently return to work at, you know, after the cast is off. And I usually have you hold off from real strenuous activities or exertional working out for a full two weeks. But beyond that, you really start getting back to normal function after that first week and taking less pain medication and having less swelling.